Hey, who's the little guy? No, no, never seen him before. Fuck. Hey, don't spend all day out here, huh? I don't want to do this by myself. Just having one fucking smoke. Relax. Yeah, heard that one before, pal. So, uh, you still thinking about quitting? Yeah, probably next month. What are you gonna do then? I was thinking of maybe, you know, becoming a voice actor. Are you kidding me? Who the hell would hire you? Shift's over. What do you mean, shift's over? You got shit in your ears? They said you're done for today. But I ain't done pounding the beefsteak. You don't make me say it again. Shift's over. Get the hell out of here. All right, fine by me. Damn straight. Let's go. I think I don't know about the dope. I know where you got the money. Falcone thinks he's got a good racket going, but he ain't gonna get away with it. Come on, how'd you get it into the States? I don't know anything. I'm just an accountant. Don't fuck with me, you egghead bastard. You wanna end up just like your buddy here? Come on, take a good look. You think you're tougher than him? After we're done with you, we're gonna grind you up in one of these machines here. <laughs> It's it's just a question of whether I'm gonna be nice enough to fucking kill you first. <laughs> hey, what's that fucking stench? Oh. Hey, hey, somebody's Drop over there. Him. Hey, who the fuck are you supposed to be? Jesus Christ! What what is Captain Shipbag here to save the day? Shut the fuck up, Luca. Hey, I know you. You're the chump who was hanging around with that moron Bagro. I thought you were still rotting in the can. What the fuck you think you're doing here? Falcone sent me. He isn't too fond of skinny little cocksuckers trying to turn his guys into mincemeat. So, you joined up with Falcone, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. If you knew what was really going on, you'd realize that you was better off in jail. But that don't matter now anyway. <laughs> Oh, that had to hurt. 
This guy sure can't take a beating, huh? This will be a messy one. Come out until we come get you. Okay, okay. Just don't forget about me. Okay, fellas? Look out, he's got a gun. I'm going in if you don't cover me. Fuck you! You missed! Get that little fuck. Little cocksucker's gonna piss his pants. What's going on? They dead yet? Yeah, they are. And guess who's next? A lot of guys with a lot of guns are already on their way over. Shh, it's too late. Here they come. Nice job. Now let's go get that little cocksucker. Knock, knock. Come on. Let me in. Fuck you. Come on. You should try and get in. Can't do it, can you? Ah, oh, that's too fucking bad. Shit. 
I ain't gonna be able to open it like this. Yeah, we need something heavy, like a, like a battering ram. I know. We'll use that cart. You're so fucking smart, huh? Go ahead, try. Son of a bitch. What's he doing over there? Give me you fuck. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'll show you what it feels like. No, no, no. You fucking son of a bitch. I'm gonna have a little fun with Luca before I grind him up. Wanna join me? Uh, thanks for the invitation, but I think uh, I'll pass it. Uh, blood, huh? No, just hate the sight of Luca. I hear you, but you're missing out. I think I'm gonna try out that cattle prod he was yapping about. Uh, yeah, Eddie wanted me to take care of him personally. Don't worry about that. It'll just take a little longer this way. This fuck don't deserve a quick death. I can't argue with that. Okay, I'm gonna go. I stink like an outhouse. I gotta get cleaned up. And tell Lady he don't gotta worry about Luca. Yo, Beans, open the door. It's all over. You... You're still alive? Yeah. What'd you expect? Look, before we go home, you wanna give me a hand with Sleeping Beauty here? You know... That's not such a bad idea. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh Jesus Christ! Was that you? Vito? 
Oh, Jesus. Why didn't you take a fucking bath before you came back? You told me to come right back when I was done. You think I'm enjoying this? Okay, okay, okay. What happened with Luca? It's done. All right. How about our guys? You find them? Yeah. Luca had him in the slaughterhouse. Frankie's dead. But balls and beans are fine. Luca was, uh, interrogating him when I got there. Any witnesses? Well, except for a dozen or so of whoa, Luca's whoa. bodyguards. Hey, back, to nobody. back up, okay? It was rough, Eddie. Yeah, it sounds like it got pretty hairy. But hey, you pulled it off and you got out of there in one piece, right? So go get cleaned up before you ruin everybody's appetite. And burn those fucking clothes you're wearing. My God. Excuse me, Mr. Scarlett, sir. Arrivederci. You at least bathe before putting it on. Anything else I can do for you? Take care. Hey, Vito, you made it. Hey, Eddie. Oh, nice threads. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan, fellas? What's with the suits? Vito, Mr. Falcone is gonna bring us into the family tonight. You and me, we're gonna be made. No oh, shit. Tonight? Yeah. Really? Why didn't you tell me before? What do we gotta do? You'll find out. But first, there's somebody who'd like to have a little word with you. Leo, good to see you. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, kiddo. I want to talk to you about what's going to happen today. Come here, have a seat. All right. <sighs> sure. And hey, thanks again for doing whatever you did to get me out of the can early. Now I make good on my second promise to you. Second promise? Yeah. I told you the next time we opened the books, we'd recommend you, didn't I? And now it's done. You had something to do with this? But you work for Frank Vinci. Yeah. I would have liked to have had you in our family. But I figure Joe there is your best friend. You guys grew up together. Just like me and Frank. And since Joe was working for Carlo the whole time you were inside, I recommended they take you in too, when he got made. Thanks, Leo. I... I don't know what to say. You don't gotta say nothing. Not to me or anybody else. That's kind of the way this whole thing works, Vito. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. We don't want to keep him waiting. All right. I'll see you fellows upstairs. What was that all about? Nah, nothing. Just, you know, talking about old times. Like that time when old Leo dropped the soap. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Let's go. These are like two school kids, I swear to God. All right, wait here. Now listen to me, fellas. It's one at a time. Once you're inside, just do as you're told, okay? Joe, come on in. Hey. Good luck. All right, your turn, Vito. Gentlemen, this is Vito Scaletta. Vito, know that this family of ours is a secret. You are entering the Society of the Chosen. 
A society which does not exist to the rest of the world. Our family means more to you from now on than your own family. Or God, or your country. If I ask you to kill your own brother, you must do it. Show me which finger would pull the trigger. Repeat after me, Vito. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... May my soul burn in hell, just like this saint. May my soul burn in hell, just like this saint. Amico nostra. Gentlemen, I give you our new friend, Vito Scaletta. I am very pleased to have these two talented and honest men join us. And I'm happy this has happened in the presence of our esteemed guests, especially Don Frank Vinci. And his consul You might wonder why I'd take this risk man. again after spending You're almost seven years in a can. You see, where Same I grew up, if you was the only guys who mattered were the guys who had the balls to take what they wanted. You will receive payment for your services from Eddie. Would you like to add anything, Frank? Whatever you do, gentlemen. Stay away from the dope. No dope. That's our policy. You can make plenty of money. And after years of doing everybody else's dirty work, too many risks. I was willing to risk anything to finally be somebody.